My name is Sean Suggs and I am the president of Toyota Mississippi. My safety commitment is to lead by example and stop looking point at every intersection. I start my impossible every single day I walk into the turnstiles. The thing that I thought about, start your impossible, that means that everything is possible. And it got me really excited because if when a team member comes to this company, I want them to dream big. I want them to think about things that they've never thought about before. And we want to make sure they're not thinking about constraints. They're thinking about possibilities. And if the more people we can get or more team members we can get to think that way, what a great company we'll have. Think about 2,000 new ideas a day. How exciting is that? You start your impossible, you're always thinking of a better way. And the best way you can make not only the company great, but your personal commitment great as well. At my plant, Start Your Impossible is the way we do business. We wanted to make sure we had some meat behind it, we had some key actions. So we visualized, what does it mean? I mean, there's a 35-foot banner out there. We've got the Olympic athletes highlighting their ability to fight through anything. We wanted our team members when they walked in the door to feel it. But we also thought it was very important that the leadership team, and it starts with me, I have to exhibit what some of those values and qualities are about starting your impossible. So we've done talks, we've done seminars, we've done cards, table tents. We've done a lot of different activities to engage the team members every single day. So the reason it was important for me to do a TED Talk type of event with the members, our leadership team, and our uh, team members here, I wanted to share what it meant for Start Your Impossible and some personal testimony of what it meant to me, and then some challenge. I wanted to challenge them that the moment they walked out of that room, what are they gonna do differently? What are they gonna start doing differently? And what are they gonna stop doing that may not be adding value to our company? So it was very important that it started with me and I expressed some of my challenge to them during that time period. This also sparked a very good interest in our leadership team on our next five-year plan, which we're calling Drive for Five. It's starting our impossible and making sure we've got a roadmap for success for this company. So the challenge cards that we use were very successful and we got a lot of great feedback. It's got Start Your Impossible on it and when you open it up, it's all up to you what you do with it. There's a column that says, what am I gonna start doing different today? And there's a column that says, what am I gonna stop doing? Our goal and objective is we want that start column to be full, completely. But we also want you to fill out some of the things that you don't think are value add. Time things that are taking you away from some of the positive things you can be doing for this company. So it sounds very simple, but it's a personal commitment that all of our team members have. So now let's take a look at how Mississippi is embracing Start Your Impossible. My name is Anthony Bowdry, Training and Development Group Leader, and this is my impossible. So when I was 18, I moved to Georgia uh, to pursue better opportunities, uh, but I moved back to Mississippi a year later, uh, and I started working at Radio Shack, uh, also O'Reilly's and Walmart. So I worked three jobs before I started at Toyota. Uh, and then Toyota came, uh, it was like a breath of fresh air. When I first walked through the doors as a Toyota employee, I was 24 years old. But my impossible started long before that. When I was 14, uh, right after high school, uh, one day after high school, uh, I was in an accident. I was riding with some friends and uh, all of a sudden a fight broke out and uh, there were gunshots fired, uh, five to be exact, uh, and I was uh, hit in the face, the left cheek, uh, with a 22 caliber pistol. Uh, one gunshot wound to the face. Uh, so, you know, directly after the gunshot, you know, I was driven to the hospital. Uh, when I got to the hospital, they put me in this wheelchair, rolled me to the back, um, and then they, they cut all my clothes off, right? They wanted to see if I had been shot anywhere else. Uh, and so, uh, fortunately, I wasn't. Uh, but the worst part of that accident was when my mom walked in the, the room. Uh, she looked at me and, and she couldn't even come all the way in the room. She just started crying. 
uh, and I said from that day forward that I, won't, I wouldn't put her in that situation again and that I would, I would always make sure that I was surrounded by the right people. Before the accident, uh, I was already a little frightened. Uh, I lost my dad when I was eight, uh, so I was already a little bit scared that I would lose another parent. But when I was put in the situation to where I almost lost my life, it was like a light switch for me. Um, you know, I began to, to not party. Uh, even though I was 14, I didn't want to go to parties. I didn't want to socialize with a lot of people because I was fearful of the big crowds. I was fearful of a lot of things that people my age or teens my age normally would gravitate to. That fear did follow me at Toyota. Uh, when I first walked in the door, I met some really, really good people. Uh, I was forced to travel and train with different people, and that kind of opened me up. Uh, it kind of led me to understand that everybody's not examples of my past. Uh, there's, a, there's a future ahead of me and in order for me to, to grow, I have to be ready to accept that change. And so Toyota's been a really good uh, pillar for that for me. You know, everybody has uh, home lives. And so I spent a lot of my time encouraging our members, teaching them about the principles of Toyota Way, uh, you know, which is respect for people and continuous improvement. So I'm always trying to build morale, I'm always trying to uh, train them on things that they'll, they'll run across on the line, situations, also communication skills. That's a big one for, for us. Uh, we want to, I want to encourage our members to, to have better communication when interacting with other people. Uh, because I, I believe that communication is some of those things, uh, is one of those things that shuts down relationships. Uh, they're, they're really easy to, to tear apart, but they're, they're kind of hard to, to build. So once you build a really good relationship, you want to make sure you use the fundamentals to keep that together, uh, which is communication. So last year, I actually uh, was able to participate in Imagine the Possibilities Career Expo. Uh, this year, I'll be leading that activity, and I'm just so excited. You know, being able to kind of set up the activities for the children, uh, set up the giveaways, uh, ask questions to other people. What do you think these are good giveaways for the children? It's really exciting when you see all the kids come in with the different color shirts and everybody's representing the school throughout the community. Uh, and I can remember myself going back to that time, uh, not really being exposed to those things and how, but it's not like a sad feeling, it's, it's an encouraging feeling because you can kind of see how things have changed and how things are progressing and you see the impossible becoming possible for so many kids and it just makes me feel really good to be a part of it. Uh, building and thinking about my impossible uh, really started once I started to accept my calling within Toyota uh, and, and it really uh, propelled me to do great things and, and this is not the end of my story. My story is just beginning. I am Toyota Mississippi and I am possible. My challenge to all of the executives out there is each one of your team members have a, an impossible just like my team members do. So hopefully some of the things that I've shared with you today you can take back to your site to challenge your team members to start their impossible. I am changing the impossible to possible. So if I had a question, one of the questions may be, how does this translate to business? We'll take a look at this quality circle. So what you just witnessed is an example of a great quality circle. That quality circle was the global quality circle winner called Slag Nation. Not only did they improve their teamwork and camaraderie, their technical skills, but they also honed in on solving one of the critical defects that we would have in the body shop. They reduced their defect by 279. So we're starting our impossible, but we're also getting great results. If that doesn't get you excited, maybe this story about our Quality Circle team leader will. Hi, I'm Molly Swords. I am a team member and bodywell pilot at Toyota Mississippi, and this is my impossible. I was in fifth grade uh, when I learned that Toyota was coming to Mississippi. We were sitting in the classroom watching the press conference with Governor Haley Bobber and the Japanese advisors, and my teacher said to our class, you're really gonna be somebody someday if you work at this company. Who would have thought that 10-year-old sitting in class that day company so many years later, but here I am. So I was a temp for two years. Um, 
I saw a lot of people that were full-time team members and they had so many opportunities and they were winning things like quality circles and things and I was just like, I really want to do that. I know what kind of person I could be. I could grow, my opportunity could grow, my career could grow if I became a team member. So I just, I stuck it out and I knew that I could eventually do it if I just kept trying, kept working hard and doing what I was doing as a team member, then I knew that anything was possible. Since then, I have taken advantage of every opportunity available and I participated in my second quality circle and won. The opportunities are, they were endless before, but they really are now. Um, I have people come up to me that I, I didn't even, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know who I am? You know about my quality circle? I mean, that's a big deal to me for people to know me. And they're like, hey, I like what you did. You know, I, it's gonna, especially with people come up to me and says, hey, I wanna do a quality circle. Since I see how far you've got, that really impacted me. Um, I feel like I'm, I've, grown as a person, not just as a team member on the line, but as a person. It's helped me with opportunities I never thought possible, like public speaking skills. I'm more comfortable speaking than I have ever been, and it's just one of those things where, I don't know, I just feel like it's just, I've grown as a person. As you get older, you grow, but it's just with Toyota, it's just a step above. My next stop is Japan for the Global QC competition, and I've never flown in a plane before. It's a 13-hour trip, so I'm a little nervous about it, but I know I can do it. But my story's not over, it's just beginning. I am Toyota, Mississippi, and I am possible. So like I said, Start Your Impossible is more than a tagline. It's about team member engagement in Mississippi. The results are real. Our team members are producing quality products. For example, we just won JD Power. They are working safe and they are active in the community. We have had a lot of initiatives at Toyota, but none like Start Your Impossible. This speaks to every team member on a personal level. It can inspire and motivate people across the globe to do more. But it starts with you. Don't pass up this opportunity. One team, one Toyota. I'm possible. 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 